Today, I'm going to my surgeon um, and do a follow-up appointment regarding about my my neck and my voice. Let's see what he will tell me. Let's go. A few moments later. So okay, I have an update. Um, I just came from my surgeon, and um, so we discuss about what happened and what I'm feeling. So um, it's been three weeks and two, one day or two days now after my surgery. So I still have hoarse voice, and um, I'm just worried about it, but. Um, uh, I spoke to the surgeon and he told me that my vocal nerves, my vocal nerves is intact. But he was thinking it's probably bruised. So due to the bruises of the vocal nerves causing hoarse voice, um, he asked me to cough a while ago, which is... <coughs> properly so what's happening there is like um, one part of my vocal nerves is not closing properly so it's probably because of the bruises it might be too early to judge so I might just sit back and wait I'll go back again after three weeks so I book an appointment again with him to see him hopefully by then my voice is okay um, Mm, yes, they are looking after me very well. He told me that he did the operation himself to me. So he's pretty sure that he, he did not damage the vocal nerves. Um, he even tested it and the vocal nerves are intact all the way through the surgery. So it can be because of the bruises. So he told me to just just wait. Let's give him more some time. I need to rest my voice. Um and yeah i'll see him in three weeks time hopefully everything gonna be fine if not if not if my voice still gonna be like this maybe they might put a like injection a silicon to one of the nerves because because if you see i'm if i cough <laughs> one of the vocal nerves is not closing so one of the vocal nerves they called it unilateral para paralysis unilateral paralysis so they might inject a silicon in that focal nerve and hopefully it will help to close but hopefully by time my voice will return I'm just worried like if my voice 
If my voice is not going to return, then it would be hard for me to go back to work like this, so yeah, look, they explained to me the complications of um, doing a thyroid surgery, which is sometimes you can lose your voice, but, um, and I know about it, but it's just, you know, maybe 5%. Or maybe ten percent, you can have a um, you know, lost your voice because of the cutting of the nerves. But um, mine is intact, so we'll dress up and let's wait. Hopefully, by time it will come back. So, I was just crying because it's hard to think about it. <sighs> That's it. That's for my um, update, so it's been three weeks now.